The foot feels on. 100%. I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, you know, it's just. It's more. You, do. you know, want to win the heat? Yeah, on the high oh, absolutely. I'm not out there to lose. Yeah, I mean, I'm not trying to get second. Um, but I feel like I made some tactical, like maneuvers that was able to give me the win. I don't think that was off of fitness or anything like that. So. Today was no testament. I can race too. Not look silly out there. I looked pretty bad in Doha about a month ago. I think I got like seventh. So anything better than that, I was happy with. So to have a win and finally start. Winning again is a good place to be. So what was going through your head when you had that surgery? Uh, when you came I don't know your second uh, what, what was that? What was um, going through your head when you had that surgery? You know, yeah. the I didn't lose as much as I thought. You know, I haven't been doing the best of training the past month, but I feel like I was able to make up for it just because of the amount of pent-up energy I guess I've had. How did you mentally approach this race? Knowing you haven't raced in a while, you're dealing with your injury. Um, like, just how did you prepare for it mentally to kind of go through this 800 yeah. not knowing what you are going to get? I think I just have like a really deep belief in myself and be able to like almost ignorant in a way just feel like I can be with anybody or hang with any competition no matter what kind of shape I'm in you know I think I built up enough accolades at this point where I can kind of feel pretty secure in my racing and my fitness no matter what the race is Sonia leave it up to you you race I think I'd race tomorrow yeah it's just one of those things I'm talking right now because I have a little bit of runner side but I like to race I like to compete get more races out of my belt since I've been kind of lacking that this season you think you'll race tomorrow, or, or is it gonna be your decision? Or because you... it'll be my decision, but also like Pete and Sonia are there to make sure that I'm not doing too much. So right now, coming off a of victory, I want to race obviously, but we got to be smart about it and think about worlds in three weeks now. What would be a factor for you not to race? Just so my legs feel good, and that you know my ankle or my Achilles. So if that feels fine 100, percent then definitely get more races would be better for me. Now that you have this race under your belt, coming off that Doha, which was a while back. Oh. How does that set you up for what do you think your chances are at Worlds that you're able to kind of, kind of cruise to a 146 here? I think I could win. That's the goal. You know what I mean? Defend my title. I'm not... I wouldn't go to Worlds if I didn't think I could at least medal. You know, I want to... I just feel like I've, I've proved myself over the years that I should be a medal contender no matter what the situation is for me. And if I'm up at Worlds, then I feel like I should be making finals and contending for medals. What did you think of the high school kid in the race? Kate? Yeah. Cool guy. I mean, he was he almost beat me, obviously, so he was really good. Uh, I think if he made a little more tactical savvy moves, he probably would have had it, but today I just got the upper hand. And then what are you going to do now to kind of recover for your, your leg, that your Achilles that you're dealing with? Just just rest and recover, R&R. &R. Maybe ice, do some contrast bath, but just try to relax for the next 24 hours. Cool. Thanks a lot, Don. You mentioned your struggles in Doha. What do you think went on? 